of oxygen on a hemoglobin molecule determines whether we see it or we don't see it. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole basis of what Because this is the same thing, you know, when, when Hay David Hayland plays a scale, and he plays these scales, he's done the scale so many times that he's not thinking about that. Of course not. And he can be totally involved with the other stuff. And the big breakthrough came when the, uh, the realization that the noise of the brain, which we tend to subtract out and get rid of, is hugely rich. So you essentially, this, this ongoing fluctuating stuff has motifs in it that characterize the basic system structure of the brain. Okay, Mr. Robertson, we're going to run an anatomical in about five minutes. There's nothing exotic about this particular machine. Now, after his discussion of the cerebellum, I expected to see a sh C sharp show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Photoshop one in later. <laughs> Are you having a hard time staying awake? Well, it's just afternoon and, and uh, food and all of that. And this way, I was resting out of the awakening. Because if you right click, you can choose automatic movie. And it just slides through like that. I had it all. Weather well, might be stiff for so long. Yeah. 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 By the end, I was thinking, I know that it's not a person, and therefore nobody's going, but I'd love to talk to the person who programmed it, because there are a couple of things they could do. To, you know, and I found myself doing all this, whereas when the, the funny thing is when the atoms would be coming on, particularly because these are two recordings with the orchestra, I was thinking about the personalities, and I was thinking about rehearsals where we did things, the harmonium, that's actually um, the recording is with our associate principal trumpet player because Susan Slaughter got ill right at the actual days that we were doing the concert so I was thinking about him and I saw him this morning and so there's all this extra wow. stuff wow. that yeah. suddenly and you realize you realize that of course you never learn anything in isolation it's always nice to spend time with one's own brain I always feel that when you're reading a book it's like you borrow the brain of the author and get to think with it for a while so this was actually kind of like you know Having a having a real heart to heart talk with or brain to brain talk with my own, and, I, and I'll probably fall asleep. Like yeah, we we'll, we'll try very hard not to do that. That's right. Because the resting connectivity is uh, is difficult right. enough. It's just going to be a series of beeps and clicks, and just lay back, relax, eyes closed, please. How you feeling? Sounded fine. Interesting music. <laughs> We're actually going to run an empty rage now. It's going to take about five minutes. Oh no, that's, this, is, no this is the empty rage. So, oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Your perception is being more physical. I have to say that you are the most still subject I have ever, ever encountered. Is that right? Yes, and a very good modulator as well. We should get a lot of good data from it. But then I was really working hard not to think. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? The effort to Yeah, it, it's hard work. Mind. It's hard work not to drift. So Absolutely. I was really concentrating on the sound. It, it, it happens again with the random music. The random music gets melodic. And uh, yes. the John Adams is tension. It's tight. You know, if Beethoven has a place in my head, you know? <laughs> that contrast will be great because he did Beethoven in his head and I listened. His default mode network was activated by his reminiscence of music, more right so in the right trial than the left. You usually don't see that AC here. I think the thing that was really interesting in you was that it took you a while to kind of get into the swing of what was going on. Right. Robertson was in it immediately. Uh -huh. That that is a piece of brain that is important for dealing with adversity. And this is you listening to Adams. <laughs> the thing that I take away from this is that when you do science, 
you find things that you weren't looking for, and they're the most interesting. In, for example, you know, we, we're, we're doing an experiment about music, listening to music, and we were contrasting John Adams with this computer-generated nonsense. And I would have thought that we'd see something having to do with auditory processing as a contrast. That's not what we saw. What we saw was made a lot of, it was about memory. It has to do with the fact that he's, he's remembering himself conducting a piece of music. So we weren't expecting that, but it, now that we've seen it, it makes perfect sense. So my take-home message is that when you do science, you should be prepared to see that what you were not expecting and that t that that's the that's best. Where, that's where the fun begins. That's the that's, best. That's where the, the fun begins. Yeah, it, it's a it's a really wonderful kind of experiment. I mean, what is music? Why do we like music? Why does it get better more often as we hear it?